forget oil, forget the stock market. The 2014 chart of the year, at least in my opinion, is the U.S. broad trade weighted dollar. This is a look at the dollar and how it trades against all sorts of currencies, emerging markets and developed markets currencies, which is why it's the best indication as to how it'll impact corporations and economies. And as you can see, it broke out in 2014, reaching levels that we haven't seen since back during the height of the financial crisis, early 2009, when there was a massive rush to safety, hiding out in the U.S. dollar, except this time the dollar is gaining because people like it. They like the U.S. growth story. They like the idea that the Federal Reserve might raise interest rates. That makes the dollar much more attractive. And I would argue it's most important because it'll reshape the investing landscape next year, whether it's stocks, drives money into the U.S. stock market, into U.S. bonds, hurts commodities, hurts co uh, corporations that operate overseas. Watch the dollar. It's going to be a big story. And most strategist guys will tell you that it will continue to strengthen in 2015. Mm. There you go. I would argue for Southwest Air or Marriott, <laughs> as if we were really just doing a, a chart of the year. Chart of the year? Yeah. Or, or oil. Or oil. Or the 10-year. You must have been very, or oh, dollar yen. You must have been very conflicted. Can I tell you why the dollar beats all of these? Because it impacts more. The dollar is the backbone of the global financial system. Sure. Your stocks, your commodities, priced in dollars, more people own dollars than any other currency. And when it strength like this, it hurts economies Absolutely. in corners of the world. So there you go.